Ralph is great. You know, one of the things I admire most about Ralph is uh, I remember the bus rides. Back then, the media traveled with the players. I used to like, because I have um, <clears throat> a big student of the game, and I talked to him about when he played in his era, the difference of playing now, some of the great guys he played against, and some of the great hitter, I mean, pitchers that he faced who gave him the most trouble and stuff like that. He loved it. And so a lot of times, if I got on the bus or played before him, he would come sit by me because he loved talking about hitting and pitching. And I got a lot of insight from him when you talk about what hitters look for. It gave me an edge, too, as a pitcher, even though it's different areas on how to face guys. And I remember going to counter corner a lot. You look forward to that, going there and talking with him. I mean, he's just a tremendous guy in baseball, basically lost some legends. And, but, and as a broadcaster, too, it's great. I'm part, unfortunately, I didn't get to see him play, but I saw a lot of films and highlights of him. But I mean, he's the same guy every day. Good spirits, uplifting, just a tremendous nice guy. Yeah, he definitely helped me out a lot um, on the bus rides to the airport, or the bus rides to the um, hotel, on the plane rides, you know, just sitting there talking baseball. And sometimes he'll come to clubhouse early for BP and sit around. He just loved talking baseball all the time. He had a true passion for it, even though he wasn't playing. And that was the same thing, so we connected well because my passion for baseball is unbelievable. And I still have that today. I just love the game.